city budgets are really about people and our shared priorities. The city provides a vast array of services and programs to ensure community safety and enhance quality of life for you, your family, and friends. These services include public safety, roads, recreational services and parks, water, and so much more. The budget accomplishes four things. It captures the city's priorities, it explains where the money comes from and how we're going to spend it, it outlines the ways we will provide services, and it communicates information to the city council and the community. Every two years, we build the budget with a process that takes about 10 months to complete. We begin in February preparing a starting budget for each city department, which is called a baseline budget. Departments build on this budget to reduce, maintain, or add programs. At this time, the Finance Department is also preparing future revenue forecasts. Mid-year, approximately April through June, departments then discuss these new programs and prioritize as a city which requests will move forward. Then in October, the budget is presented to the Council. The final budget is adopted by Council typically in November, but no later than December 31st. State law requires a balanced budget, and just like with household budgets, it means that we have to make some hard choices on how to spend the money that's available. Our budget is made up of different funds, like different buckets that are used to balance revenues and expenditures and track costs for a variety of city services. Taxes and fees flow into these funds or buckets to cover costs of services. Each fund has different requirements and restriction on how the revenues can be used. The general fund is the principal operating fund of the city with the fewest restrictions on how the funding can be spent. It is used for routine operations and provides daily services such as police, courts, mowing and maintaining our parks, roadways and streetlights, attracting new businesses to the city, and cleaning up nuisance properties. The city's annual general fund is approximately $130 million per year. Most other funds within the city are restricted, which means they can only be used for a specific purpose and cannot be mixed or mingled to be used for something else instead. Water-related fees pay for building and maintaining pipes and treating drinking water. Golf course green fees are used to operate and maintain the city's Maplewood Golf Course. The city only receives nine cents for every dollar you pay in property taxes. This is really just a small fraction of the entire budget, with a large amount coming from sales taxes, utility taxes, and water user fees. We need to manage this money wisely because really every year it becomes more and more expensive to run the city. And that includes building and maintaining the infrastructure within the city. This is really why we put so much effort into the city's budget. The city is very careful on setting these tax rates, keeping taxes low while still ensuring the highest level of service for our community. This year, we'll be preparing our biennial budget for future years of 2025 and 2026. Part of the process includes gathering input from the entire community. It is the highest importance to have our community's input in where tax dollars should be spent here in Renton. Our job is to accurately reflect the needs of our community, and we need your input to best accomplish that. Your input helps us understand where you want to prioritize funding. During the entire budget process, there are several opportunities to share feedback from the community through either public hearings or a budget survey. Our good financial planning will ensure we continue to provide high quality services so the City of Renton continues to be a great place to live, work, play, and learn now and into the future.